Yeah, I think it's hard to think. the same thing back there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the 
this general area. This region. Yeah. <laughs> um, but we don't know where just yet. Yes. Yes, railroad crossing will stay. We can't be on a train very easily. <laughs> we are. So what was Eve Musée, the uh, haunted house behind there, is becoming deprivation. Um, Insider tip, I don't know if you've been in a claustrophobic slash pitch black maze before, but that is what this is. Uh, so it's going to it's going to get you with uh, claustrophobia, like fear of the dark, um, tight spaces is really the, the name of the game. If you don't like tight spaces, you're not going to like this, this maze. All safe, of course, but uh, that is being worked on right now, so it will still be there, and you'll see that they're actually, um, they've actually they're going to paving a new entrance to it, a new walkway that goes to that on house, but everything else back there is, is the same. So nothing else is really changed. Yes. It's the Venice over the weekend that we also had. Are the coaster trains on planet coaster planet this like it, actual replicas of what they're going to look like, or is it kind of a guess? Yes. So they've been given the same kind of information that our animator has for the actual marketing materials. So the train is pretty accurate to what it will look like. It's, pretty cool. it's a brand new train for RMC. This is a completely new design for them. If you notice on it, it has a wheel bogey ahead of the train instead of underneath the actual car itself. And you'll see that the wheel placement is also different. The reason why is so that the ride can articulate all the tight spaces and turns that this ride has. So we can easily do the huge hills and the airtime and all that, but once you get inside the structure and start doing the turns, it's going to be very tight. So they had to re-engineer the train. So this will be the debut of their new train design. Awesome. It's restraints are the same. That's a really good question. He asked how much additional wood was added to this. We don't know because they're still adding. <laughs> so that, that's something that we will find out later uh, in the process. What they're doing is they, they, they know what they're building, um, but you know there's always a chance that they could need extra materials at the time or more materials than they thought they would need, so we don't have an exact number. Um, and the reason why the lift hill is not complete yet is because uh, there's a crane that is very special that has to uh, lift things to that height and the crane that they currently have does not extend that far. So they're at the mercy of the crane operator. So once the crane operator is available, they will bring the crane in and they'll start working on the lift and they'll see them top that out. So that's why that is not complete yet. That's why it's kind of backwards. Yes. Can I answer my question? Oh yeah, I was right on. Track work will be done by the end of the year, for sure. So the crane they're going, they should be done by the end of the year. I feel good and don't have weather issues. They're moving way ahead of schedule. No, the flag is always the uh, is always the highest point of a construction project, which is specifically when we build roller coasters. No matter what what park does it, they all all builders do the same thing. They'll plant the flag at the highest point of the ride, um, and in this case, that is the highest point of the ride currently. Once they do finish the lift hill, then they'll put that flag up there, and that'll be the, the highest point. Okay, if you have any questions while we're going through this, feel free to stop me and ask me. Um, but let's all let's all walk back. Okay. Badges, yeah, make sure you have your badges in case we need to uh, check. You sure you don't want to wheel? You can. I'll no, it's okay. Okay. I think so. We'll find out. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for answering my email. I'm Alice Brody from Houston. Yes. So far, so good. Thank God. Yeah. I mean, I think it's expensive. I know. You guys are so good. Anything else? So this in the hotel are definitely the big things for 2018. Uh, Frontier Town, we'll see some changes. It'll be more soft stuff, different menus in the restaurants. The show program will change. Some of the uh, retail locations will get some of the kind of facelift. But uh, we know there's going to be a lot more people hanging out in Frontier Town next year. We we'll make sure that plenty of food to eat, good food, and those kind of things. You're all like, I want to go in there. Right? Yeah. <laughs> That's great. So, add more rides over here. Not for next year. You get one big. Arm.
Notice you have the light poles up. Are you moving around the path through here? Or is this part of that queue for the uh, haunt? Yeah, so this will still be queue for the haunt. That haunt building will stay there. It's, I keep calling it the wrong name. I keep calling it Oblivion. It's deprivation. <laughs> deprivation. Oblivion would be a good name, though, I think. Yeah. So deprivation will still be open, and this is how you'll access it. Yeah. Just like you used to, yeah. you crawl underneath this <laughs> way. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's a claustrophobic base, that's how we start. Crawl right underneath there. Exit's right there. Yes. Will there be a first Yes. Yes. Will there be like the same, like the first
Ja. Is that our camera now? Mm-hmm. Obviously, I have a SD card. <laughs> 